if you dread a sneeze or a cough or you have to do that awkward quickly cross your leg thing then girl I am here to help you you need to do these pelvic floor exercises it is going to be a game changer for you Lemon Yoga. Welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time visiting then welcome. Today I'm here to take you through some of my favourite pregnancy prenatal pelvic floor exercises. These are the pelvic floor exercises that I do with every single one of my clients. I also did them myself throughout the whole of my pregnancy and they definitely did help to keep my pelvic floor strong. So if you want to know more about your pelvic floor, you want to know how to engage your pelvic floor, you're in the right place. Make them second nature so you don't even have to think about them anymore. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, ladies, we're coming down to a cross-legged position to learn these pelvic floor exercises, but once you know them, you could do these standing or seated. It's entirely up to you. So we are going to start by just relaxing our body down, so softening everywhere in the body. There is a little bit of body awareness that comes into pelvic floor exercises because we want to be really certain that we are just working our pelvic floor and it's not actually the other core muscles or our glutes or our faces, foreheads trying to get involved, it's just our pelvic floor muscle. So if you don't know about pelvic floor, it roughly goes from the front of the body all the way to the back of the body so it sits sort of underneath you like this and it's a crucial part of supporting your core and your organs so we really do need a strong pelvic floor not only do we need a strong pelvic floor we also really need to know how to relax our pelvic floor that's really crucial in having a healthy pelvic floor that we know how to engage the pelvic floor and we know how to relax the pelvic floor so we are going to be focusing on both today we're going to be talking about both so the first thing i want you to do you're going to focus on lifting through your front and your back passage. So just squeeze and just see if you've got any feeling there. Hopefully you've got something. So focusing with that, you're going to lift and squeeze through the front, the back passage. Squeeze inside the body so you lift even higher and then release, relax, let it go. And when you relax, it wants to feel like a lift going through all the floors as it lowers back down. So we're going to try this one with breath. Take a nice breath in and on your exhale, lift through the front and back passage. Squeeze inside the body, inhale, relax and let go. Exhale, lifting through the front and back passage together. Squeeze inside the body, inhale, relax and let go. And that's it, let's just keep that coming. Exhale, lifting through the front and back passage. Squeeze inside, inhale to relax. One more time, squeezing through the front and back passage. Squeeze inside and relax, let it go. How did you get on? Was that okay? Could you feel some movement? Hopefully you could. Let me know in the comments below. So that's exercise number one. I want you to do that every single day. I call that exercise your pelvic floor drill every single day and make sure I do my pelvic floor drill and that's that. So the next exercise I want you to do is a quick squeeze let go because it's really important that with our pelvic floor we can do these long holds but we can also do quick squeezes and relaxes. So this time when you're ready, now you know how to engage both the front and back passage together, you're going to do exactly the same steps that we've just done in our pelvic floor drill but it's going to be much faster. So you're going to lift and relax lift and relax that's it so when you're ready just relax take a deep breath in and exhale squeeze let go 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 awesome just relax for a moment we're going to repeat that we're going to try another 10 in a minute but just give yourself a moment to relax sometimes we just need to take a little break from it so we can connect with again especially if you are struggling to connect to the pelvic floor just take a little break take a moment and then come back to it if it's new to you it does take a lot of brain power it does take a lot of connecting the brain to the pelvic floor to make it work so stay with it the more you do it i promise the easier it's going to become so when you're ready we'll do that again Squeeze, let go, 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 
Squeeze, let go. 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 All right, relax. Okay, so now we've done our foundation pelvic floor drills, the ones that we're going to do every day. We've done our quick squeeze, let go. We're going to now do a slow hold and let go. So all of these exercises work together. They're all really important to keep your pelvic floor strong and healthy. So for this last one, I'm going to count to five. You're going to see if you can lift your pelvic floor on the exhale for five whole counts. And then on your inhale, you're going to relax for five whole counts. This is a really nice place to focus on that relax, to focus on the pelvic floor dropping through the floor so you can feel it with control, lowering back down. So when you're ready, let's begin. Take a nice deep breath in and engage for one, two, three, four, five. Relax for one, two, three, four, five. Lift for one, two, three, four, five. Relax for one, two, three, four, five. Lift for one, two, three, four, five. Relax for one, two, three, four, five. Lift for one, two, three, four, five. Relax for one, two, three, four, five. Awesome, just let that go for a moment. Now, if five was feeling like way too much for you, why not try for three? So you'll do one, two, three, release, two, three. If five was feeling super easy and you're like, I have got so much more in me than that, you're going to try for 10. So the aim is for all of us to eventually get to 10. That's what I want you to work towards. Let's just move through two rounds of 10 so we can see what that feels like, so we can work towards that. But don't worry, that's not in your body today. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Let it go. So just remembering wherever you are today, that's great. You're going to keep working on these pelvic floor drills, these pelvic floor exercises, and you're going to just start to notice how much stronger you become the more you do them. Counting is a really, really great way to see how we've actually progressed. So say this week we're on three, well in two weeks time you might be like, hang on, I can hold it till four now. I can hold it till five now. So you'll know that you're progressing. Please remember that whilst pelvic floor issues during pregnancy and after pregnancy are very common, that doesn't make them normal. If you are suffering with your pelvic floor, then please do seek some professional help, reach out to a pelvic health physio or reach out to your GP, your doctor, so that you can get some proper help and support with your pelvic floor throughout pregnancy and the postpartum period. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Leave me a comment if you found these useful. Let me know if you've heard about these pelvic floor exercises before or if they were news to you today. And also, I would love to know how many weeks pregnant you are, so leave it in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click like, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.